Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Under Rail. This will be part 28 of our Let's Play. And in the last episode we just managed to grind our way through this, uh... Ooh, empty mutagen container, I'll take that. We managed to grind our way through this, this battle just here. And, I mean, yeah, we did it successfully, we, we won. So now we are in Depot A North, and we might be out of things to fight. God, I hope so. Scrapture, more of them, please. Needs hacking, which we don't have. Bolts, it's good. Trap door. Where does this go? Ah, I kind of want to know what's in here, actually, but I don't have high enough hacking. It's a shame. Okay, so that's where we would have come up if we'd gone through the underground and got past, like, all those turrets. Pfft. Stuff that. And it looks like the acid is mostly, if not completely, gone. So let's see what we got here. Acidic tongue. This tongue is bloated with corrosive acid. Do not squeeze. Yeah, I think I won't. Uh, we're going to grab animal heart, acid gland. Oops, I didn't actually want to take all of that. Uh, another, you know, can't get more than one claw. Can't do acid burn femurs. Alright, we're overweight, but I don't want the mutant dog leather. There we go. Oh, let's chuck a quick save in here and make sure we're not going to run into anything on the other side of this door that is, you know, wholly unpleasant. Oh, it was locked. Interesting. Oh my god. There it is. The armadillo class drill rotor circuit board. This is what we've wanted. You have always wanted one of these. God damn right. Oh my god. We found it. Mission accomplished. Mission complete. Finally, we have got what we wanted. We also found a strange risk computer. It's some sort of a commercial civilian risk computer. The target audience for this product, oddly enough, seems to be young blonde men in jumpsuits. Unfortunately, it's broken. So that's that's a nod to Fallout. And 200 XP for me, so I am not complaining. Uh, why do I hear... <laughs> I was going to say, why do I hear dogs? And then... What I heard was a landmine. Um, yeah, let's grab the stuff again. Bang, bang, bang. Save it now that we've got it. Good to see there's still landmines everywhere. Yep, there's another one. This game almost needs like a minesweeper system where you can like tag squares that have a landmine. That's what this is missing. It almost looks like somebody lives here, too. And we are open. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh, if I never see another landmine in my entire life. Oh my god, just thank you. It will be way too soon. Oh my god, right. Friggin' save it. I mean, we're not exactly running short on bandages at the moment. Oh. Okay. There's actually somebody here, and there's the actual dogs. The man speaks to you from behind the barrel of his revolver. That's far enough, boy. I don't know how you managed to make it this far, but I suggest you start backtracking immediately before I put some lead between your eyes. Uh, take it easy, man. I mean you no harm. And just what the heck are you doing here? I was just scavenging. I didn't expect to find any non-mutants here. Go scavenge outside. Everything in this house belongs to yours truly, and I aim to keep it that way. 
That's alright with me. He relaxes a little bit. Good. Who are you? I'm Wyatt Pear. I used to run this depot back in the day, before it went to hell. Stayed here even when everyone else fled or went insane from mutations. Why do you still live here among this junk and mutants? This is my home. This is where I lived and worked all my life. And this is where I'll die someday, probably. What? You think living with mutants is dangerous? Living anywhere is dangerous, but at least I know where the danger lies in this place and how to avoid it. What happened to this place? How did all these mutants come to be? You know, over the years I had these jackass scrappers come to me occasionally, asking me all sorts of questions before trying to kill me and consequently becoming dog food. But no one asked that, even though it's the only question that matters. You see, one day these two strange men came to trade. I think they were Biocorp scientists, but I can't be sure. One was bald and pale and wearing a breathing mask. He had wires coming out of his skull and one of his eyes. And the other one was very skinny and his face seemed to have been burned. He was eyeing me so intensely I kept my hand on my gun the whole time. But that didn't matter. We traded with everyone, including Biocorp weirdos. So I sold them some petrol, mine shrooms and some other stuff and they traded me a pack of fusion cells. I remember checking every cell to be real and full. Sometimes people will be stupid enough to try to scam me. The cells were all good though. After that, they left. I woke up the next day to the sound of my dog squealing. I rushed out to my living room only to see them convulsing on the floor and retching blood and acid. His face grimaces in pain and disgust as he speaks. I could do nothing to help them, so I put bullets in their skulls to end their misery. And I charged out. I was furious. Someone poisoned my dogs and I was going to get to the bottom of it. But as I ran through the depot, I realized something much worse had happened. Every run I ran into was either dissolving in a pool of acid they had retched, or were overgrown with these green boils stumbling around, or have turned completely demented. For most of them, it was all of the above. I was dashing around like in a dream, or a nightmare, rather. I didn't know what to do. I just stumbled from one building to the other and finally ended up in my shop. Behind the counter there were those energy cells that I acquired the day before. It's hard to describe what was going on in my mind at that moment. They were definitely the things I purchased from those two scientists and examined and accepted to be fusion cells. Only they were nothing of the sort. Not at that moment. Not when I purchased them. Do you understand? They messed with my mind, made me think one thing was another. Wyatt grimaces and puts his hand over his face. After he composes himself, he continues. They were mutagen containers. So how come the mutagen... Yeah, sorry. So how come the mutagen affected everyone except you? It did affect me as well, but not quite in the same way. Here in this forsaken place, it's sometimes easy to forget. But look around you, boy. Look at these ruins. The event that I recounted to you happened more than a hundred years ago. And yet here I am, still alive and kicking. I didn't age a bit, never got sick since, never even slept. Perhaps I was the result they were hoping for, and someday they'll come to reap what they've sown. I really hope that's the case. He twirls his gun on his finger. I'll wait for them a thousand years if I must, and I'll kill them, be they men or something else. Huh. So he doesn't trade anymore. Well, see, this is where you start to get into like the the backstory and the and well, just the general stories of this game and the setting. And like, it's really cool. I love the setting, but I don't know. I wish the setting wasn't so hard to get to. Oh my god! I expected the beep kaboom there. I was just about to say, I probably can't get out of here, can I? Uh, this is a long walk to get all the way back. Okay, I don't remember. Did we set off the landmine in the battle? I don't think we did, so I'm just... I've given it a wide berth in case. Uh, 
Uh, which way do we go here? We go down here, right? And we get into the vents, and then we go back the other way. I think that's... I think that's the general gist of it. So I've been looking in the forums for this game on, uh, on Steam. And there's a big sentiment in there that I think, like, I, I wholeheartedly agree with um, about this game in general, that it would be so vastly improved if you could get companions, or a companion, or whatever. Like, the, the only issue with this game, and, like, I've said this multiple times in this playthrough, the only issue with this game, the one that's, like, the, the main issue, the one that I would call an issue, is just the combat situations they put you in and how it's always got you outnumbered and there's like no way to avoid a lot of it at least early on so if you had a companion or may like two companions one companion whatever you could help sort of share the load of the uh of the thing i don't know that that's my opinion the opinion of a few people Wow, and here is a really cool thing I only just noticed. So if you look at my portrait up here, see how it's all lit up. If I actually go into the dark, it shows how... See that? Very cool. I can't believe I only just noticed that. But that's that's really, really cool. Yeah, okay, we don't need to talk to you anymore. Alright, so we've got the Armadillo Drill Rotor Class Circuit Board. I think that's what it was. Whatever. Whatever it is, whatever it's called, we've got it. We've completed Depot A. Oh, thank Christ. We've we've done it. Finished Finito. We can get the hell out of this place. I don't think any like loot we picked up in there is worth all the money we spent. Um, alright, we're gonna go back to the balaclava. Wait, oh right, so they want balaclavas, fair enough. 9mm hammerer, 7.62 marauder, 7.62 corsair. We we're gonna put, did we end up putting any points into guns? I don't think we really did, no, we didn't. Trapper's belt. Yeah, I think we can sell it, honestly. Like, we haven't been good to disarm. Shut up, dog. We haven't been good enough to disarm any traps as yet. So, like, you know. Why would we suddenly start now? So. We've got that. Okay, we're not going to get Colmire's Lucky Knife. And we've done the Black Eel stuff. Now, what we did have was we had old... Oh god, I forget his name. The, uh, the creepy guy. Abram? I want to say Abram. Who they said wanted to meet with us in the caves west of Junkyard, so let's see if we can find them. If you remember, we went up here and opened a, uh, opened a hut and got absolutely roasted. Oops, I can't actually sneak. Yep, there we go. Maybe it was in here he wants to meet us? Yeah, he wants to meet us and apparently some big shit's going down. Oh, yep, there we go. That's him. I have another <gasps> job for you, <gasps> Aussie nerd of Southgate Station. This one, <coughs> even riskier than the last one. Do you <gasps> wish to hear it? Uh, yeah, go on. This hole that we dug up <gasps> will lead you to the ventilation system <gasps> of the Union Embassy lower level. Among other things, <laughs> this area also serves as a protector of prison. <gasps> I need you 
to liberate a prisoner. Her name is Mora. <coughs> as far as I know, she's the only prisoner there, but I cannot be sure. You will encounter moderate to heavy resistance down there. I would prefer it if <coughs> if you could liberate her with no casualties on either side. But if you do engage in conflict, make sure you leave no witnesses. You do not want to find yourself on the Protectorate's most wanted list. So, what do you say? What's the pay? <coughs> 1,000 charons. I'll do it. You may descend the ladder when ready. Alright, let's quick save here and we'll just do one run at it to see how bad it actually is. If it's as bad as he says, then we uh, we won't get too into it. Small protector propaganda, bear trap, some metal scraps we don't really need. All right, so let's check out some of these other entrances. It's not amazing. So is this in our notes? Yes. Access prison through a hole in the caves north of, of Junkaird. Junkaird. Okay. We're going to explore the vents first. Before we, you know, go jumping down and have to worry about other people. Okay, that's a dangerous spot to be jumping in. Alright, so there's a soldier right there. Man, this is such a slow walk. That looks like a security station, not a... Not a uh, prison cell. I mean, I highly doubt there's going to be like a vent that goes right there. What is that? Uh, yeah. You watch, I probably won't even be able to open these. Mm, no, I can open it. Dude, shoot me with lasers, and that's messing me up. Alright. So how about down this way? What have we got over here? Like, it'd be nice if they told me where I'm going. Okay, so that looks like it goes up. Yeah. So both those look like they go up, which is not what we really want. How about we open this one? We're not going to spend too much time on this. It looks like there's no like time limit on it, so we're just going to have a bit of a run. Probably for the rest of this episode, and then we will go back. That's the camera. Sorry. That's a turret. Oh my god, are you kidding me? See, and as I keep saying, this is the other thing with this game, like, there's no, there's no indicator of, like, what's happening around the corner. You can't, like, peek or anything like that. Okay, protector of pop br 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 propaganda that we can't actually use. Some antidote, that's actually kind of handy. Uh, 55 lock picking. I think that needs an advanced one by memory, which we still have. 
So what do we think the prison cells are? Nice, nice, nice. Free crafting supplies, I am all down with that. Aha, that's a... That's a non-connected vent system. Okay, and out of interest, what's around the corner? A doctor. Oh, and some lockers, actually. Can we maybe slip in there and uh, grab some stuff? Okay. The doctor didn't look aggressive to me. Let's just slip over here. Take all. And talk to this doctor. Hmm. Are you here to take that corpse away? It's over there. He points his thumb at the mutant corpse resting on the table in the corner. Uh, yep, that's why I'm here. Can I ask you a question first, Doc? I've always been fascinated by biology. Alright, but make it quick. I have a lot of work to do still. What are these corpses doing here? These are mutants from the Depot A area. I'm researching their mutations. What happened to these people? They once lived in the Depot A, or the old junkyard as they call it. At one time in the past they were exposed to powerful mutagen. Who did this? Who exposed them to mutagen? I don't know. Maybe the old Biocorp. It happened way before my time, more than a hundred years ago. Catch you later, Doc. Don't forget to get rid of that corpse! Okay, I don't think I actually can get rid of the corpse, so... Let's get up in the vent and see what's going on. So that's gonna lead to there. Which is probably not a terrible spot to come out, that's, yeah. I was pretty sure that wasn't gonna lead anywhere. So hopefully I just have to like get this prisoner out, or like I have to open the prison cell or something. Hopefully that's all I have to do. Because if I have to escort them out or something, it's just not going to happen, I don't think. Okay, that looks promising. Let's just chuck a save in here. Mora. The woman seems highly apprehensive of you. She takes a few steps back and you notice her stare is alternating between your face and your hands. Are you Mora? Is this some trick? You already know who I am. Actually, I do not. I'm not allied with your jailers. I broke into this place. Yes, I'm Mora. I'm here to bust you out. Why? Who are you? I've been hired to get you out of here and that's all you need to know. You want out or not? Yes. Of course I do. How do we get out of here? Don't tell me you expect us to just walk out of the front gate. Actually, I'm still working on it. Sit tight. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of worried about. Another encyclopedia fragment. A lithium cell. Maybe I need to grab, like, the... Maybe I need to, like, grab the mutant... Uh, glands? No? Hmm. Not actually sure. Lock picking of 80. Damn, that's not gonna happen. Alright, well, let's just keep looking around. See if there's anything in this room worth, uh, Worth entering over. Shelves. Not bad. Borrow a poison throwing knife. I mean, I don't like throwing knives, but maybe I can sell it for something. Okay. So these guys are going to be aggressive to me, I would imagine. Unless I can maybe talk to them and be like, ugh. Okay, no, they are absolutely... 
absolutely aggressive towards me. Okay. So the doctor's the only one not aggressive to me, so maybe he's the one I should talk to. But we're going to have to talk to him in the next episode. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you think you know any friends that might enjoy my content, make sure you share a video or two with them. I really appreciate you spreading the word. Um, I make videos for you guys, and it's... I mean, I'm not going to lie, it's quite nice to have more of you guys to make videos for. I really want this community to be great. And uh, finally, if you want to leave any comments, I love hearing from you guys. You know, if you want to leave anything about the video, about the channel, um, any thoughts about the game, make sure you do that down below, and I will see all of you in the next episode. Goodbye.